Welcome boys and girls to the madcenter.com uh, In this video, i like to uh, show you the solution how to answer this question This question is taken from the most recent exam in January 2020 of this year from the Pearson Adexel Further Pure Maths International GCSE Maths It is a 4pm 1 paper 1 level 2 paper 1 exam Okay uh, this is a at Excel further pure maths exam held in January 2020. This is question number two. Now, before we go further, um, I like you to I like you to if you like our content, please do uh, share with your friends, share on social media, give us a thumbs up, and go check us out on our website www.themathcenter.com. There are tons of at Excel further pure maths. Uh, material there, uh, video courses and exam solutions as well as other exam boards, okay? Here goes. So now people, um, I'm using a tab tablet and a pen to do this. I don't have a benefit of a ruler. So I'm going to do, if my lines are a little bit crooked, please do excuse me, okay? I'm sorry for that. So this is a simple question about inequalities, linear inequalities, okay? where we identify areas which are uh, above a straight line, below a straight line, as well as including answers on the straight line. These are linear inequalities. So it says on the grid below, draw the line with equation 5x plus 2y equals 10. 5x plus 2y equals 10 is a linear equation, a straight line. So to draw any straight line, you need only two points on the straight line, which you join together and you can form that straight line. So 5x plus 2y equals 10. So pick any point you like for x and pick any point you like for y. So let's say I'll pick x is 0. It's easy. 5 times x, 5 times 0 is 0. So 2y equals 10. y will be 5. So a point will be 0, 5. Okay? Another point I'll pick would be what if y is 0? If y is 0, again substitute y is 0 into 2y. So 5x plus 0 equals 10 x will be 10 over 5, 2. One point, another point I could pick is 2, 0. Again, I label, I mark the point 2, 0. So I have 2 point zero five and 2, 0. Okay, so, so you will take the ruler and join. Okay, join and this equation is 5x plus 2y equals 10. The other equation is y equals x. y equals x is easy. It's a straight line where all the x and the y coordinate are the same, are equal. So you could pick 0, 0. Maybe you could pick 3, 3 or 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. Okay, pick your choice. So I pick 0, 0 and maybe I'll pick 3, 3. Okay, so I'm going to join. Okay. That line is y equals x. Okay, now that's part A. Part B, show by shading on the grid. Okay, the region defined by the inequalities. Okay, inequalities are always defined by this symbol greater, greater and equal, less than, less and equal. So there's got to be a, there's a little trick here which I like to tell my students quick, that you can do this to quickly identify which is the area that you need to shade uh, for an inequality. Is it above or below that straight line? So now let's see, y is less than or equal to x. Look at this, y is less than or equal to x. y has a constant 1, it's on the left hand side. So the simple quick rule is, if the term y is on the left hand side with a positive coefficient or positive constant, so when it is less than or equal, it will be the area below the curve. Sorry, area below the straight line. Area below the straight line. Okay, I repeat. The term y term here has a positive coefficient or positive constant. Then it's fine. Then look at less than or equal to. Okay, it will have to be below the line. So similarly, if it is y greater or equal to x, for the same line, it will be above. Okay, it will be above the line above the red line y equals x okay so that's my tip quickly 
Second one, 5x plus 2y is less than equal to time. So check your y term. Y term is on the left and has a coefficient 2. So fine, you're looking for less than or equal to 10. So it has to be the area below the line 5x plus 2y equals, uh, sorry, 5x plus 2y less than or equal to 10. Okay, next. They say y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Why don't you draw the line y equals negative 2? y equals negative 2 would be a horizontal line, right? Passing through the y coordinate negative 2. So this is y equals negative 2. y is on the left hand side with constant or coefficient 1. So greater than negative 2 will be above. It will be above the blue line. Sorry. Above the black line, y equals negative 2. Sorry, today I'm a bit muddled. Must be too much of staying in, you know, getting to my brains. Next, x greater than or equal to 1. Uh, sorry, now don't worry, let's look at x equals 1 first. So x equals 1 would be a line passing through the point where the x coordinate is always 1. It will be this red line. You see? Okay, so again, greater than or equal to 1, it should be to the right-hand side of the line x equals 1. So finally, if you use different color and different markers, you will see that the shaded area, shaded area would be the area denoted by the R, the symbol R. And any answer that you pick in the area A will satisfy all four inequalities. If you look carefully at my drawing, it would be this area here. In this area here, it would be the region R. And we are done. Okay, so if you do like what we do, please share and subscribe. Uh, subscribe to our email, share with your friends, and on social media, and check us out on our website, themedcenter.com. See you soon in the next video.